Welcome to Rover YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to validate your records in a MX Access database. So here the special point is uh, I am going to explain how to validate data inputs from a uh, form level of a Microsoft Access database. So actually here you can see how we apply validation methods in a form level. So basically I have created a simple database to explain this. So my uh, database contains only one form and uh, one table uh, and it is about a student data base. So uh, okay. Uh, before go to the video do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this okay now let's go to the video now you can see this is my uh, sample form so i have named uh, my form as a frm student and this is the related table to my form and i have named it tbl main yes uh, yes here i have uh, uh, all together six uh, columns in my uh, table so they are uh, in my form uh, first entry is student id so how i validate student id actually here i expect to enter only numbers not text so therefore if user enters therefore if user enter text for student id then my message will uh, pop up saying that or oh, validating that we have to include only numbers so how can we do this actually here i use a uh, small vba code for this validation to access the uh, vba window i want to go to design view then i am going to right click on this text box then select build event they are select code builder then press ok now uh, to save time i have uh, written code uh, in a notepad so this is the validation condition for student id so therefore i am going to copy and paste this code here yes this is the code to validate student id now i'll save the code then i go back to microsoft office form view so here if i enter number what happens then it is okay but accidentally or if a user enters a text value then it gives an message please enter number so it so it is validated like this so if user enters uh, input other than number then it gives an error message therefore student id is a number therefore user should enter number only now the second one is student name so here i expect to uh, use uh, text details or text data only therefore uh, how to validate this one here uh, text are welcome but numbers are not welcome so again i go to uh, design view and right click on this text box and select build event there i select code builder so this is the code I used for student name. This is the validation code for student name. Copy and paste here. So this VB code you have to write under before update event. You can see. Now I am going to save my code and I want to uh, move to Microsoft Office Access 
again then form view so here just say if a user enter name or a text detail then if you would use enter text detail then it is okay if uh, erroneously someone enters a number then then again you can see a validation takes place then it gives an error message saying that please enter text only okay so then if it is a text value then it is okay then the third one is student address so what can we do with a student address so they are i do not uh, use any validation because normally address may contain text and numbers therefore they, i do not expect to use any validation uh, condition then i am going to the uh, fourth one this date of birth so uh, here i need to enter user valid date format so if a user enter in valid date format then it then it gives an error message so uh, this is the code i used to validate date oh okay this is the code to uh, validate date of birth now save and go to access so here a uh, street address is okay it accepts both uh, text and numbers and text like this uh, now if someone enters uh, date format like this then you see please enter valid date so this data does not accept by the database due to the uh, our due to our validation condition now say 25th 1983 so this is a valid date therefore it, it is okay because it does not give any uh, error message therefore this is the this is a correct date format so if you send a date from a correct date format then that is okay now the next thing is student email so uh, here i want to uh, verify whether user enters correct email address in a correct format so here it is tested as follows then right click on the uh, text box and select build event then code builder so what is the text we can use to validate email address to validate the student email so this is the function i am using copy and paste this this is the function so these are the uh, regular expressions for email validation and uh, if someone enters invalid format for email address then uh, it shows an error message okay now i have entered the uh, code for port validator email save then go to form view so uh, my email address is like this then you see if if someone erroneously enters email address uh, like this then it is not permitted to enter to the database therefore a message appears so it says please enter valid email address so assume that our email address is at gmail 
just then this uh, email format is accepted so if i enter then it does not give any error message so there are so this is the method we use to validate the uh, email address from your user then the final one is mobile number so uh, for mobile number so i am using this one Old builder. Let's see you. So here, uh, my mobile number is like this. So here, my uh, email address is like this. Yes, it is accepted as a mobile number. So these are the validation conditions I used to uh, validate my form inputs. So I think this is very useful to you and uh, for your day-to-day -day, uh, works. So I think you learned something from my explanation. So if you have any clarification, please put a message under the video comment section then i'll come to you uh, then i'll reach to you as uh, quickly as possible so please subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this then let's meet with an another video thank you very much